jellyfish, while sometimes very scary, are also one of the coolest and most unique animals on our planet. We've put together this list of fascinating facts that will leave you wanting to tell all of your friends about these strange creatures. From jellyfish with an immortal life cycle to jellyfish being blasted into space. Okay so let's get started. One type of jellyfish can kill a fully grown human. All jellyfish have nematocysts, or stinging structures, but the power of their stings can vary widely depending on the species. The most venomous jellyfish in the world is probably the box jellyfish, capable of killing an adult human with a single sting in just a few minutes. Each box jellyfish reportedly carries enough venom to kill more than 60 humans. To make matters worse, their stings are excruciatingly painful It's said the pain could kill you before the venom does. On the bright side, that knowledge has helped Australian researchers to develop a potential antidote for box jellyfish stings. Jellyfish are almost completely comprised of water. About 5% of jellyfish bodies are made of structural proteins, muscles, and nerve cells, while the remaining 95% is water. If they wash up on the beach they'll almost disappear as their water evaporates. Human bodies, by comparison, are up to 60% water. Jellyfish aren't fish at all. Despite their name, jellyfish aren't really a type of fish. Fish are vertebrates that live in water and breathe through their gills. Jellyfish, on the other hand, are invertebrates, meaning they have no backbone and they absorb oxygen from water through membranes. Jellyfish don't have brains. They don't have a heart, lungs, or a brain either. So how does a jellyfish live without these vital organs? Their skin is so thin that they can absorb oxygen right through it, so they don't need lungs. They don't have any blood so they don't need a heart to pump it. And they respond to the changes in their environment around them using signals from a nerve net just below their epidermis the outer layer of skin that is sensitive to touch, so they don't need a brain to process complex thoughts. Over 60,000 jellyfish have been in space. In 1991, over 2,000 jellyfish polyps were blasted into space to test how they reacted to the lack of gravity. Those jellyfish reproduced in space, creating over 60,000 jellies, but the space-bred jellies weren't able to function properly when they returned to Earth. There are over 25 types of edible jellyfish. Jellyfish can be a delicacy there are over 25 edible types of jellyfish. They're typically found in salads or pickled, and some people say they have salty taste and a similar consistency to noodles. Jellyfish are the oldest multicellular animals on the planet. Since jellyfish don't have any bones, fossils of ancient jellies are challenging to find. But in 2007, a preserved jellyfish fossil was discovered in Utah that's thought to be over 500 million years old. Dinosaurs lived from about 250 million to 70 million years ago, meaning jellyfish predate them by at least 250 million years. One type of jellyfish is thought to be immortal. The Turritopsis dornii jellyfish is thought to be immortal, since it can transform back into a colony of polyps, individual organisms. As the jelly ages, it eventually settles onto the sea floor and becomes polyps. The polyps then spawn new, genetically identical jellyfish. Jellyfish can be found in all ocean waters. Because jellyfish tend to just follow the currents of the ocean, they can be found around the world in every type of ocean water. They can thrive in warm tropical water or cold arctic water. They've been found at the bottom of the ocean and near the surface. Some jellyfish are bioluminescent. Bioluminescence is the term for a creature's ability to produce its own light. Many jellyfish have bioluminescent organs which emit blue or green light. The light emission is typically activated by touch, which serves to startle predators. This light may also help jellyfish in a number of other ways, like attracting prey or warning other organisms that a particular area is occupied. Jellyfish eat other sea creatures. Jellyfish typically eat small plants, shrimp, or fish they use their tentacles to stun prey before eating it. Jellyfish can clone themselves. Imagine if you could just split in half and create a second version of yourself? 
If you cut a jellyfish in half, the pieces of the jellyfish can regenerate and turn into two new jellies. Some jellyfish have teeth. The baroid comb jellyfish has hundreds of rows of teeth made of tiny hairs that can pierce, tear and pull their prey into their stomachs. Jellyfish can have super long tentacles, and they range widely in size. The lion's mane jellyfish is the world's largest jellyfish species. It can have tentacles that are over 30 meters long longer than the size of the blue whale which is the biggest mammal in the world. But the perhaps the world's largest jellyfish by weight and diameter is the titanic Nomura's jellyfish, Nemopolima namurai, which can dwarf a human diver. These beasts can have a bell diameter of 2 meters across and weigh as much as 200 kilograms. Some jellyfish are so tiny they are practically invisible floating in the ocean's currents, and the smallest are those in the genera Storocladia and Eleutheria, which have bell discs from just half a millimeter to a few millimeters in diameter. They like how we're changing the pH levels of the oceans. Unlike most marine creatures, jellyfish are thriving in our ocean's ecosystems disrupted by marine heat waves, ocean acidification, overfishing, and various other human influences, as a 2019 report on our oceans from the U.N. Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change lays bare. Human activity has made them feel even more at home. While corals, oysters and any marine organisms that build shells are considered the biggest losers of increasingly acidic oceans, jellyfish aren't as susceptible. That doesn't mean they are immune, but they are certainly faring better. Not all jellyfish have tentacles. What are jellyfish known for? Some may say they're trailing tentacles, but actually not all jellyfish species have tentacles. The deep steria, for example, is a genus of jellyfish known for their thin, sheet-like bodies and their lack of tentacles. But some have eyes. Despite their simple body design, some jellyfish have the ability to see. In fact, for a few species their vision can be surprisingly complex. For instance, the box jellyfish has 24 eyes, two of which are capable of seeing in color. It's also believed this animal's complicated array of visual sensors makes it one of the few creatures in the world to have a full, 360-degree view of its environment. They poop where they eat. It might not sound very appetizing, but jellyfish have no need for separate orifices for eating and pooping. They have one orifice that does the job of both the mouth and the anus. Yuck! But that's also beautiful in a minimalist sort of way. Urinating on a jellyfish sting won't relieve pain. It's a common myth that if a person is stung by a jellyfish, another person should urinate on the sting to relieve pain. But that's simply not true. According to the Mayo Clinic, if you find yourself stung by a jellyfish, your best course of action is to remove any tentacles carefully with tweezers and soak the sting in hot water. Of, if a person gets a severe reaction or becomes unconscious after a sting, seek medical attention immediately. 150 million people are stung by jellyfish each year. That means that in the few minutes or so it's taken you to read this far, more than 17,000 people per hour have been stung by jellies. Be careful with the jellyfishes, they can be dangerous. Thank you for watching this video and goodbye.